Almighty. Let us all pray. Let your mind, set your thoughts, your imagination be focused on the Exteco Bosha. I am highly blessed and I am highly favored. I am great and I am mighty true Christ. My family are great. My children are great. All my household are great. My business are prosperous. All my establishment are prosperous. I have good health, long life. I am very peaceful. I am very happy. Greatness and success increase and more than enough. Plenty. Follow me in all circumstances, and I shall be truly blessed. I shall be surely favored by the presence of the divine. As from this time forth and forevermore, watch God work for me. Indeed, Satan is bound, poverty is bound, sickness is bound, depression is bound. Every evil spirit is now bound to the presence of the Most High God. Father, feel free to blow a mighty wave of glory upon my household. I bind all canker worm, I bind all palmer worm, and I lose my blessings. I lose my favor for the glory of the Likobosha. Watch the presence of God work for me. So shall it be. So shall it be. Everyone come to the altar. That's what the altar is for. Just surround the altar. Take your bags and come to the altar. Just surround the altar. Bags and pull it on the altar. Put your bags on the altar. Bravo, Bosada, Baba Sada. I see just as I The time is now to give them to the Lord. That's what this all true is for. That's what is all true is for. You know who gave me those words anymore. There's light in the dark.
That's what the altar is for.
Welcome to your seat rejoicing. For God so loved this world that he put you and me in this to inherit all riches and all greatness and to blemish, to bless, and to multiply. And that is a very important purpose. That's why we're here today. Not to suffer. Not to go through long suffering, but to inherit the kingdom of God. The purpose of God is not to inherit the poverty of God. The purpose of God is not to inherit the long suffering of God. You with me, somebody? The purpose of God do not have long suffering. The purpose of God do not have poverty spirit in it. The purpose of God is sovereign, absolute, magnificent, great, success, and mighty increase. And we know for very sure, and we have ready persuaded that we serve a mighty God. 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 The Bible states that Jesus come to give the good news of the kingdom. Am I right? And we want to hear what is the good news of the kingdom. The good news of the kingdom is not crucifixion on the cross. That is bad news of the kingdom. The good news of the kingdom is not Jesus died for your sin. That is bad news of the kingdom. But Christian people take the bad news of the kingdom and celebrate it like it is good news. 100% of Christian society celebrate Jesus dying for their sin, celebrating bad news of the kingdom. That's why you suffer. Bad news of the kingdom is not in the circle of the divine. Do you understand me? The Bible states very clear, which is your Bible, not mine, that Jesus come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. And a next idiot in the Bible is right that Jesus come to die to save you from your sins. So it's two idiots. One state that he come so you may have life abundantly. Even not bad, isn't it? But the next one appear and he writes that Jesus come to save you from your sin. So he is a sacrificial lamb. So Jesus become a goat. That's bad news of the kingdom. We do not want to preach no bad news in this church. We want to know that God is high and lifted up. He is sovereign, he is absolute, he is mighty, he is great. He is God in all God. And there is no doubt that God exists because if God didn't exist, there was no tree would be exist, there would no you to be exist, and nothing that have life would be exist because God is life. <laughs> we
We want to be clear about God. Sometimes stumbling block truly fall in our wayside. And when stumbling block fall in our wayside, we wonder if God truly exists. Not we, you. I don't have to wonder if God exists. Because I know he has to exist. That's why I don't pray and ask God for nothing. And if you come to this church, you would know Prophet Roe. Not a pray, pray man. A man that prayed too much become a beggar in the kingdom. I fought here very early this morning. I do whatever I need to do. I appear here and I preach to you according to the knowledge and the wisdom and gift that God placed in me. After I finish work, the sun shall not go down before God pay me. Or else a problem. A man shall get his pay according to how he work. And when I preach to you, I preach with all my might. So if I have to pray and beg for God to pay me to work for you, then it wouldn't make sense. I used to have a nice pastor, we call him Nice Bell. He used to have a church down with the, with the water pot name. He used to go down there. The water down there, so, where the water is. Where you call him there? Some place down that way. And every time the man wants to call me, he says, May I please call me? So I black him. So I buck him up in my pen. I say, if God, you're working for God and he not pay you, stop work. Don't say me no more, please come. Before you work for God, he pay you. Because he's a God of sovereign. He's absolute. He's before time. So before you even come to church, the payment is there to buy your credit. Why you say me, please call me? That means you're working for yourself. He shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. I want to preach to you today on a topic. The great inspired men of God is crying. I want to teach today on a powerful topic I preached before, but I always get calls to preach it over. The great inspired men of God is crying, and they can't stop crying. How can the great men of God, the mighty men of God, the men that know the power of God cry over this world? Because of the followers. Let them cry. Men that heal the sick, the blind, the crippled, even raise the dead is crying because of the followers. The great inspired men of God is under pressure because of you. We are human, so our mindset, our thoughts, and our vision will surround a human ability. Am I right? So everything that we partake of, we do, we say, will only be through a human mentality. If you're going to walk, you cannot walk like a bird. You have to walk like a human, because you are a human. If you're going to eat, you cannot follow 
L.A. Lewis by drinking water through his nose. You have to eat through your mouth. I don't know where you get that type of drinking from. But he's the a, a, a empire. He's some big man in the country. If you, if you go under the sea bottom and look under the rock stone, you see L.A. Lewis mark on his stone. So he's a great man. Clap him. So I don't know if you drink water through nose. But I drink water through my mouth. We don't call his name for no harm because we love him. He is the Emperor of Jamaica. <laughs> he feeds a lot of people, isn't it? He gives away a lot of money around the, the country. So we salute him. <laughs> so you eat like human, you sleep like human, you do everything like human. Your mindset will surround a human ability. In time past, it wasn't like this. In time past, decades ago, there was no money. So you wouldn't sell anything to get money. There was only exchange. A man would exchange a cow for a donkey, or he exchange a cow for two goats, or he exchange some birds for some food. You only exchange in the olden days. Am I right? If you want to marry to a, a woman and you see Mas John with his daughter, you go to Mas John, Mas John will let you work his ground for him, carry water for six months, all right? Yeah. And if you qualify carrying water, help the puppy yard, then he realize that he's a good man, he give his daughter. That's how it used to run first time. Now this time you don't do like that. This time now you just take up somebody and you run on. But in the olden days, it was different. You have to work your sweat. You work for one year, and the man said, no, you're not you. And you have to leave. You work for nothing. That's how it used to be. Things change. Life won't the same. And as time goes by in dimensions, life will change. In greater to come, better to come. And life improve a very, very far way. First time you used to send telegram, isn't it? No, you're not sending a telegram no more. You're sending WhatsApp and email, Twitter, Facebook. These things are taking over. So life improve for generation to come. We live in, in a world of unsurety. We don't sure where we're going. We don't sure what we're going to become. We don't sure if it could be good or bad. All we know, we live in a life preparing what come, what may. I don't want you to live in a life that you don't know what's coming. I want you to live a life to know that by June, the mango tree shall bear. By April, the pear tree shall bear. By December, the sorrel tree shall bear. You must know your season. You must know your season. That means in five years, you know you will be a lawyer. In three years, you know you'll be a doctor. In two years, you know you'll be a teacher. You will know your future. You shall know. It's very hard when you ask a man or a woman what he wants to succeed in life, he say he don't know. It's a sign that his head don't screw on properly. He want maybe a screwdriver or something to touch him up. You must know where you're going, you must have a firm in intention, and you must have a good successful aim.
You're with me, somebody? Everyone wants someone to inspire them. Most people will, every Rasta man will take Bob Marley and they wear a picture of Bob Marley in the shirt and they will smoke like Bob Marley and they will take the steps of Bob Marley. If they want to listen to music, they will listen to music like Bob Marley. So if Bob Marley inspired them. They look in the house, you see a Bob Marley picture. So they have someone to mentor them, inspire them. Most people, some have Jesus picture on the almanac. They say, Jesus is my, my mentor, inspired me. You with me, somebody? Some have Selassie. Everywhere most Rasta men go, you'll see them with Selassie picture or Selassie something on them. Selassie inspired them. He's a great man of God, isn't he? But all of these great men of God go through suffering because of you, the followers. The most inspired men of God today become a hero, and every hero die a loser. I repeat. The most inspired men of God that call themselves men of God become my hero, and a hero die a loser. <laughs> Buddha is a great man of God. He is a what some people don't know so God. They serve him as God, they worship him as God, and they will take God of the cross that he is God, isn't it? Muhammad is the next one. They serve him as God. Muhammad did great and mighty thing to the earth. But all of them were born of a woman, isn't it? Am I right? Good. <laughs> Buddha were born of a woman and a God that born through a woman cannot be the creator of the earth. You must know that. I repeat, a man or a woman that born out of a womb cannot be the creator of the earth. It's not possible. <laughs> so Buddha was born of a woman. He talked like man, because he's a man. Eat like man, he, he go bathroom like man, he feel pain like man, he sleep with a woman like man, then he have children like man. So all upon a sudden, Buddha could never be God because he is a man. <laughs> Although he do mighty things, great things, miracles, a man that born out of a woman cannot be God. You don't, you don't have to go to university to know that. Common sense must tell you that. We go to Muhammad, the Muslim God. Muhammad was born of a woman. He wasn't descended from heaven. He was born of a woman. Am I right? He eat like a man, he sleep like a man, he walk like a man, he talk like a man. Although he had power to do miracles, he was a human. So my God, no possible. They have a next one they call Michi. Some, some God down, some other place down there. He, bo he born of a woman, 
He eat, he drink, he feel pain, he have emotion, feelings, he have children, so he couldn't be God. So exalt him, he couldn't be God. So all of these great men that I'm talking about that they call God, we ex them out, they couldn't be God. Because they were born of a woman. Let's come to the problem one them. Selassie. Selassie wasn't a Rastafarian with long locks, no. He was a bullet, isn't it? Yes. But Selassie were born of a woman. He grew do mighty things on the earth. Selassie came to Jamaica in the 70s and he told the Rastafarian, he said, I am a great man, but I am not the creator. I am not God. Stop praising me like God. I am not God. I'm, a cre I'm not, not the creator. I am a great man. The Rastafarian in those days point their finger at Selassie and say, stop the night when you are fire. You are God Rasta. And when is the last to go back to the Middle East? People continue to serve him as God and make their kills last before time. Rastafarian, let's last die. <laughs> Kill the man before time because they're serving the man as God. And dangerous men realize that they put in this man on top and kill a man. So all of you who are serving a defeatful God need to change your mindset, change your focus, change your believing system. For a, de a defeatful person cannot be a creator. The Bible gives devilish advice. And your back have to be very tough, very strong to speak these words. The Bible gives devilish advice. Open your Bible with me. Open your Bible with me to Proverbs 31. We read from verse 6. Proverbs 31, we read from verse 6. Proverbs 31, verse 6. Give strong tree. Read from verse 4. Verse 4. It is not for kings who let you well. Yes. It is not for kings to drink. It is not for a king to drink to drink wine. So these big top not, don't give them no wine to drink because they're rich already, they have money. Let them live long. No for princess. No for the king's wife, the princess, them to drink. drink. Don't make them drink drunk, strong drink because they're rich, they have money. Make them live long. Lest they drink. Lest they drink. And forget the law. And forget the law. And pervert the judgment. And pervert the judgment. Of any of their Yes. Give but give strong drink to poor people like Unu. Unto him that is ready to perish. That is you that is perishing, you that is poor. Give you strong drink like rum, liquor, strong liquor. Let you drunk and forget your memories. And wine unto those that of heavy And give wine unto the woman them with their heart heavy. Read. Let them drink. And forget his poverty. And forget so you're the poor. And the misery no more. You see them, do you? Your Bible. Are you a Bible? Read over. Read from verse 4. It is not for this, this Bible gives devilish advice. It is not for It is not good to give the prime ministers, the, the, the governor general, the big top not them who rich. Don't give them strong, don't make them jump. Give them nice thing to drink. Let them cool. 
Both uno, you listen. <laughs> yes. It is not for king to drink rum. Rum wasn't made for king to drink. It was made for poor people like Uno, make no drop down, make no drunk. Yes. No, for the king's wife, the princess, to drink. To drink strong drink. Lest these great men drink and they forget the law and pervert the judgment. Yes. But give strong drink and to Uno, that is? Yes. To perish. To perish. where I go through long suffering, Uno go through poverty. Give Uno strong drink. And give the woman them wine. No, the red wine, the red wine good. Give them the, the wine, we mash them up. Yes. Let him drink. Let him drink. And forget his poverty. And forget send it poor. And remember his bills. And remember his bills, them where work. JPS, quotes, lucky dollar, singer. Let him remember his bills, them no more. <laughs> The Bible give you, your Bible give you devilish advice. So these rich guys, don't give them a strong drink for one year live long. But Uno, I not put myself in that. For Uno, I found a Bible in my Bible. So my Bible, yes, sir. Rasta, see so your Bible, yes, sir. I feel them Bible, listen. So when you go home, before you reach home, stop a bar and buy a flask of rum. A pretend. Drink it off. Kiss the Bible and go home. The Bible says you must take some drink. Did he say soda? What the Bible say? Read over that, that look of verse. It is not for kings. It is not for kings. Yes. It is not for kings to drink wine. It is not for kings to drink no wine, no drink at all. No, for the king's wife, the princess. Yes. Let's drink. We don't want them to drink. And forget the law. And they forget the law and the money in the bank. Yes. And pervert the judgment. And pervert the judgment. Of the yes. But he give. Give strong. Did, did the Bible say soda? Did the Bible say water? Did the Bible say fruit juice? No. no. What did it say? Strong drink, rum. What did it say? Rum. Johnny Walker Black. Yes. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to And to perish. him that is ready to perish because they poor and pauper rise. Quotes I look for them. Lucky Dalla look for them. Singer I look for them. The who care alone. The who house alone. Give them strong drink, make them perish. And wine unto those. And give the woman them wine. For women them always have heavy hearts. Let them drink. And forget so you did poor. And remember his misery. And remember your misery no more. No more. Clap. <laughs> read this one. Isaiah 20, read from verse 2. The Bible is giving a prophet instruction. Isaiah 20, verse 2. Yes. At the same time, yes. say the Lord by Isaiah. At the same time, say the Lord to Isaiah. The son of Amos. The son of Amos, the prophet. Say. Yes. Go and 
Go and loose the sackcloth from off their loins. Take off your shoes from your foot. If you want to be a real prophet, take off your clothes and take off your shoes off of your foot. And he did so. And the Bible said the prophet must walk naked, no shoes, no clothes. And he did so. And he that did so. Walking naked. Walking naked according to the Bible. And barefoot. Barefoot. And the Lord said. And the Lord said to him again. Like as my servant Isaiah. Like my servant Isaiah. Have walked naked. Have walked naked. And barefoot. And barefoot. Three years. For three years to what? prove that he's a prophet. Three years. For three years. For a sign. Is a sign. And wonder, and wonder upon Egypt, upon Egypt and, upon and upon Ethiopia. So shall yes. the king of Assyria My God. lead away the Egyptians' prisoners. Hold on. There was a prophetess come to me. Said the Lord tell her if you go eat grass for three days. And you eat that side of grass. A doctor should end up. So I said to her, do me not pray for you. You say, God say, go eat grass, go eat grass, you're good. <laughs> she out there eating grass because she won't be anointing because God said she go eat grass. Doctor, she end up. I borrow money for the doctor. The next pastor come to me, you know him too, the big tall, rusty pastor. God put him on 100, 100 day fasting. And when we have a meeting with him, we were having a drink. I asked him if he wanted a malt. He said, no, I don't want a malt. I said, why? I'm on 100 day fasting. 100 day fasting. He passed Jesus. <laughs> I immediately stopped the meeting and walk out. Because if he never 100, 100 day fasting, that the power will flow through him. Could he, it's a titanic bomb. 100 day fasting. He now heal the sick. He now raise the dead. He now help Jamaica. But he now 100 day fasting. Come out of that atmosphere. Just in case the place bump. <laughs> Be a dead night. Because you're not hearing the voice of God. And you proclaim to be a great man or a great woman, the devil will send spirit to talk to you, make you think I'm going to talk to you. God. All that we said through the Bible, out of the Bible, all is speculations. Because the truth of the fact, no man on earth can describe who God really is. <laughs> Speculations. From your born until now, you are living a here so speculations life. No man on earth do have no description to tell you who God truly is up to today. Look at this. Give me these last scriptures. Malachi 2, read from verse 3. Malachi 2, read from verse 3. And Ezekiel 4, we from verse 12. Those two scriptures. The verse 6. Yes, 3. Sorry, 3. And I hated Esau. Yes. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Give me Ezekiel 4, we from verse 12. 
et à Bossala. Je veux le maintien. Ezekiel 4, verset 12. Ezekiel 4, verset 12. Ezekiel 4, verset 12. Et thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. Read from verse 9. Take thou also unto thee. So God instructs a prophet of God. He said, Take thou. Take thou. Yes. Also unto thee. Yes. Wheat, and barley, Wheat, bread, and barley. And beans. And beans. And lentils. And millet. Yes. And pitches. And put them in one vessel. And put them in one vessel. And make the bread thereof. And make the a bread. According to the number of the days. According to the number of the days. That thou shalt lie upon thy side. That thou shalt lie upon thy side. 300, 300 and 90 days, and 90 days shall you shall eat what I tell you to eat. And thy meat, and thy meat which thou shalt eat, eat shall be thy weight. Yes. 20 shekels a day. Continue. From time to time. From time to time. Shall thou eat it. My God. Thou shalt drink also. Water by measure. Thou shalt drink water by measure. The six parts of an egg. Continue. From time to time shalt thou drink. Continue. And thou shalt eat it yes. as barley cakes. And thou shalt eat it as barley cake. And thou shalt bake it yes. with dough. And thou shalt bake bread with dudu. That cometh out of man. That cometh out of man waste. In your sight. In their sight. And the Lord said. And the Lord said unto the prophet. Even thus. Even thus. Shall the children of Israel. Shall the children of Israel. Eat their defiled bread. Yes. Among the Gentiles. Look at this. Without hold on. Hold on. So God instructing the prophet. Jeremiah. To eat dude with bread. <laughs> for 300 years. Dump the waste out of a man, a man waste. For you to become a prophet, you have to eat what I tell you to eat. So here a Jeremiah said to God. Give me Jeremiah 20, verse 7. Here the prophet said to God. And the prophet started to cry. God dreamed me. And God said, For me to be a powerful prophet in the Mapen, me have to take the man waste. With, with Captain Bread, put it together, eat it, and drink water to be a prophet. God tell me that. You're a mad, mad God. <laughs> so Jeremiah said to God, give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah 20. 20. Verse 8. Verse, verse, verse 5. Verse 5. five. Moreover, Moreover, God, I will deliver all the strength yes. of this city yes. and all the labors thereof. Continue. And all the precious things mm. thereof. I'll deliver them to you, God. And all the treasures yes. of the king. I give them to you. I don't want them. Of Judah. Continue. Will I give into the hand of their enemies? Yes, I give them everything. I don't want it. We shall spoil them. Yes. And take them. And carry them to Babylon. Continue. And thou, Hashur, and all that dwell in thine house, yes. shall go into captivity. My God. And thou shalt come to Babylon. Yes. And there thou shalt die. Continue. And shalt be buried there. Thou and all thy friends to whom thou hast prophesied. My lies. God. Oh Lord. oh Lord, you deceive me. You tell me like God. You tell me I'm a prophet. I look at them with dumb. Okay. Jeremiah said, God, you deceive me. <laughs> what was Jeremiah said? You said, God, you read oh over. Lord. Oh Lord, thou have deceived, deceived me. You anoint me to be a prophet. And now you are telling for me to be mighty and great in my pen. May I eat bread with dumb. Jeremiah said, deceive me, Lord. Take back everything. I don't want it from you. 
He said, oh Lord, you deceive me. How can I take down those smelly sitting, put it with bread for three years, and eat it to prove that I'm a prophet? He said, God has deceived me. I don't want it. Take them back. Take back a gift too. Make a work, make a plan wrong. I banana. <laughs> this Bible gives devilish advice. And that's why the prophets of God are afraid to speak in the atmosphere. The mighty man, mighty Jeremiah, that God tell Jeremiah, before you're born in your mother's womb, I know you, I assign you with Isaiah, a prophet to a nation. And now God tell the man to go eat dumb and bread to prove that you are a prophet. Jeremiah said, no. Oh God, you deceive me. You deceive me. You use me and abuse me. I know you want to prove to people them. So me a prophet. You must eat dumb. God will not put you in disgrace to bless you. So the Bible was write by a man of unsound mind. <laughs> Give it to men of sound mind. Turn the men of sound mind to unsound mind. But then can turn this assignment, man. And that's why we are here today. To stay firm, stay solid, stay focused, and use the Bible that God gave you up here. Look how much metal rasta to you. I grew up in the maroon bush. And I have to use my finger. You know me at all. Me have a pick. He said me as a school. And I have never smoked one time. My uncle is Rasta. A lot of my family is a Rasta for him. Nothing wrong with those men. But guess what? All of us have one mighty God. No divination. One mighty creator. until you accept that all of us creator is one. You'll never be successful. As I close, know God for yourself. Experience the presence of God for yourself. You make up your mind to walk this way to go to your home. And your way, don't let no spirit enter your mind to tell you, turn that way. Tell that spirit, I don't listen to spirit. My intention to go that way, and God will protect my steps according to his power in me. But most of you love listening to voice. 
Pastor, I said, I come and work and want vice every turn, so when I turn, I buck up. <laughs> Stop listening to voice. Your intention must be firm. You leave your house to walk there, I dare say your walk. Your intention must be just. Very important. Stay focused in Christ. Stay positive. Keep your head up and watch God work. One more important thing before I close. I know you're used to prayer. And I know you pray a lot. Am I right? Yes. I have news for you. When you pray, Stop saying you're ready. Stop saying you're born in sin and shape in iniquity. Stop beg God for things. There's a special anointing flow through the atmosphere that causes things to happen. You don't have to pray for that. For you to gain access for that anointing, for things to happen without you pray, your atmosphere has to be a peace that passes all understanding. Your atmosphere must be very peaceful. No cussing, no aggression, no noise, nothing to trigger off the anointing. And the anointing will creep right up in your house. And you'll find you're just a prize for you don't know where to come from. <laughs> Anger, depression, weariness, cause sickness, cause curse, cause sin, and cause death. It's very important that it better you sleep and piece of cardboard on your floor than a whole coats a hundred dollar. <laughs> One bill upon your head can be a cancer cell, a sugar cell, or an arthritis. And no matter how you sleep, when you wake up, no one again, that quote bill like a pop up. Especially when you pass the 20, you go to the end of the month. You start pop up, so you have quotes. Lucky dollar start pop up. School fees start pop up. Light bill start pop up. Water bill start pop up. Then all of a sudden, your brain don't have no more space for nothing more. What's that happen now? You start get strokes. Then because you start, your, your, your brain full up, you can't contain nothing more. Your wife talk, talk to you, you have a ball after her because her operation full up. So a be of anger come out. Your wife says, but you're not married to an angry man. How am I so angry? Operation full. You find him get angry. The woman head full, she get angry and she's not like that. Any time a woman dead free is the calmest person ever. No bills to be paid. I shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. I command the presence of God to bless you with a two bedroom house. You will live comfortable and you shall be happy. Go home.
everyone who cannot walk well come to Who we'll come with you? Who we'll come with you? Your we'll sister. Your sister come with you? Yeah. Sister, how long he is suffering like this? I'm not your sister. Oh, your girlfriend. Where's your sister, you said? Sister, come. Come, girlfriend. Sit, stand up on one side. You're your sister. A woman but lighter color than she that you know have three children. I may speak in parables because your future wife is it. She have two girls and one boy. She used to be a rooney. How many children you have now? Three girls. You have three girls. I get three girls. You get three girl child. Yeah. But I'm seeing four. You said three. So I where is the next one? I don't get it. She didn't give it to you. No. Where is she now? Tomorrow. Where is where is she's in St. Thomas? She's in Thomas. Yeah. But you get her pregnant. Yeah. But she don't give the child. No, no problem. So I'm going to start from the beginning. A woman that has three children, two girls, which one I know for sure, you know about it, and one boy. A woman bury you into a star up tree root. The other man give her a big bullfrog and put your picture in the bullfrog mouth. Lock it with a key and a padlock and bury it at the stirrup root. And just like how the bullfrog skin look, that is how your skin continue to look. So your foot start to soar straight up. And she said, as long as you live, down here, so not supposed to go again. Right now. And that's why you look like this. So you don't have no use, am I right? You mash up. So what you do if a woman if you have no use? Hug your future wife. Hug her so make me make you have use. And, and you didn't take the child. You treat her bad. That's what she said. You treat her like she's an animal. You didn't treat her good, isn't it? And St. Thomas and St. Mary people are no easy people. One bottle of honey. And your friend come back. <laughs> Drink it off. Tonight you can do road. Put it in your pocket. There is a two bedroom unfinished house. Who built in the house? Me. You build in a two bedroom unfinished house. Why not finish? Because she also buried a bullfrog at the unfinished house. So it no matter how you work on it, it will never finish.
also a woman that named Tamara. Tamara born August the 18th, 1983. Is also working on you. So there's two women working on you. Tamara is killing you. Hug your future wife. Make sure when you go home tonight, you're good. Go home with her now. And don't treat people bad again. Give me your next hand. Go home. I'm seeing you traveling. Where your passport? Give it to profit. What are you doing in Jamaica? Ask you a stupid question. Where is your son? So why didn't you bring them here? They live with their dad. So you run them away from to their dad. You go look for them. They come and look for you. Go home. What happened to your foot? Come to me already and you couldn't walk, but you're walking now. Yeah. Give God thanks. <laughs> Go home. What happened to your foot? Let me start swell up. You feel the something going near your foot. So you said they swell up. But no pain. But then I have no pain. And you feel something going under your foot. Do you have a fiancé? No. You need a man. Go home, look a man. <laughs> no, not do your foot. Go and look a man. The blood needs to run. When you don't have no fiancé, the blood will go under your foot and clod up. What happened to your foot then? Burn you? No, no, do you go home? Change your mattress. What happened to your foot? I'm diabetic. You're diabetic for true. Yeah. You need to drink a lot of bitters. Drink a lot of bitters, drink morning wine. No, even the pan, you're good. Natural sickness. Take off your shoes. Put one of your foot up here now. Put one of your foot up here. Come deep and come all out. Me maga, me can all out. It's okay, put your foot right there. Put one up here now. Put one, just one, yes. Don't worry. Power. Give me the next one. Take time. Walk up and down that church now. Power. Somebody say power. like old times.
Go. Back to your seat. <laughs> Young girl like you, walk to your foot. You don't know. It hurting you now. Put it up here. Me next one. About power. What happened to your foot then? No, not do you. Where you going? <laughs> Whose picture is this? Children and your children. My you want me to pray for your children? Raise a pan. Pray for the lady with the bullfrog in the yard. Come, let me talk to the bullfrog. Where you see the frog? We're at home. You just keep moving up and down. In the house too? Man, I had. You'll find him dead tomorrow. I'm looking for a shop. Who own the shop? Me. You own the shop. Where you see the frog? Outside. Close, close to the shop? No. I'm not home. You'll find the bullfrog dead tomorrow. <laughs> Every woman that have man problem come. That have man problem come. And then to serve. No more man problem. No more man problem. For yourself. Yes, 
Yo no tengo más problemas. All the man them that have woman problem come. All the man them that have woman problem come. No more woman problem. All the men them that have woman problem All the men them that have baby mother problem come. Baby mother problem. Baby mother problem. Baby mother problem. Baby mother problem. All the women them that have baby for that problem come. Baby for that problem. Baby for that problem. God upon your life. Be positive, stay firm, aim for the higher, put your heart where you cannot reach it, so the power of God bring you to it. Be still and know that God is God. Raise your right hand. As from, today, As from today, I will survive. I, will survive. I shall be great. I shall be, I shall be successful. successful. Increase shall follow me. Shall Good follow health me. and long life. And Greatness, and Greatness and success. Prosperity and good life. Prosperity. Follow me now in all my endeavors. All my and I shall be blessed. In the presence of the Most High God, so shall it be. Amen. Amen. Go home. God bless you and we love you. Said, I am blessed and highly favored. I am great. I am wonderful. I am awesome through the eye of the eye.